Howdy folks, I'm Alan Butler with Butler Contracting. Today we're going to talk about how much a door in your home might cost to replace. Now, that's a loaded question because there is tons of different options for doors. I've seen doors that are all kinds of crazy colors that cost eight, ten thousand dollars There's really nice high-end wood and metal ones. It can be ten, twenty thousand dollars Or you could get a standard door that's like 250 bucks at Home Depot. So it all depends on what you want, right? Um, something could be really, really expensive or it could be very, very budget friendly. So it all depends on what it is exactly you're wanting. In most cases, what we're doing it on a day-to-day -day basis in most homes is uh, doing a standard entry door. Now understand that while those entry doors, they can range from about $300 to $800 a piece, um, given what you want. If you want glass in them, if you want blinds in the glass, if you want decorative glass, if you don't want any glass at all, there's lots of different options that are out there. So my suggestion is, before you give us a call, if you could go look around a little bit, maybe get an idea of what you might want, because there's lots of different options that are out there. But in a nutshell, in general, with kind of a more standard door, uh, most like front entry doors and rear entry doors at homes, they're going to range in the $2,500 to $3,200 range to get those installed. Now, some people might say, wow, that's a lot more than I expected. And we completely understand that. But understand that includes everything. All the labor, all the materials, disposal, everything is a package deal by getting that door installed correctly. And what we do here at Butler Contracting, we make sure you get all the hardware, shims, insulation, uh, flashing tape, and we use PVC trim on our stuff mostly so it doesn't create wood rot longer. It has a 25 year warranty on it. Um, paint things, caulk things, and make it all 100% uh, functional for you, putting the knobs, the hardware, adjusting everything correctly. So uh, we always wanna make sure that you understand kind of what that price range is to do a standard door. And then also there's other options as far as French doors or sliding patio doors. And those kinds of doors can get a little bit more expensive as well. And it, they're really nice to have. It just all depends on your particular situation. And again, with those, there's options with blinds in the glass, grids in the glass, um, different hardware, different looks and styles. Most of those, they range about, you know, some of the low end sliding patio doors, they can be about in the $650 range. And you can get three, four thousand dollar, you know, French doors or even more, but um, or you can get like a fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar nice sliding patio door uh, or vinyl. So it just all depends on what you want. Um, so it's going to depend, you know, most typical projects like that, they're going to be in the thirty five hundred to fifty five hundred dollar range, depending on the kind and type and style of door. If we have to do some different framing or if you're going up against masonry, a lot of factors. But just kind of get some ballpark starting points to understand what a door might cost to install. So those are a couple of options. If you want to do a standard door or do a sliding patio door or a French door, those are our three most common types of doors that we get called about. So there's some ideas on things to think about, things to look for, and some different styles and some price points. So if you have any other questions, give us a call at 8446-BUTLER or visit our website at butler.contractors. And we look forward to seeing you on your next project.